Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I'm got PAC ROM that is Pac-Man ROM for Galaxy Ace. So this is an awesome ROM and the best part is that this is based on the latest Android version and it is available for Galaxy Ace with minimal bugs I would say. So yeah, uh, about this ROM, I did get a request for this ROM. I did uh, do a uh, ROM overview of this earlier, but at that time this was in its infant stage. So yeah, I'm doing a ROM review this time. So what you just saw is the AOSP lock screen. So you have that uh, slide to have more widgets on each side. So yeah, that does work. So nothing too much. Uh, high five about it now the biggest improvement in this one uh, from the last last one is that the camera works now so let me take the camera and show you guys that okay it has started up here is the camera and it works maybe a little slow but it does work so for you guys who like to have these uh, the ability to snap photos the camera does work so yeah m huge improvement from the last version now other than that this is the Tebyshire launcher that is uh, uh, the standard launcher for cyanogen mod based things okay here is the settings page let's go to the about first so about phone you see dynamic change log PAC Pac-Man ROMs standard stuff now it is based on 4.3.1 awesome i really didn't expect ace to support back when i really bought the phone i didn't even support it uh, expect it to even have 4.0 but now it is having 4.3 and it's running it well so yeah it's pretty neat aokp mr2 uh cyanogen mod 10.2 rco panel android 3.99 so yeah pretty neat i guess right pretty neat pretty neat pretty awesome uh, what you see here is the list view animation this one does have list view animation which I really really like I really like that I really appreciate that I use that in my s3 and I am just psyched to have it in the ace pretty neat stuff now pac-man settings are just a slide away you have all these settings pack, pack console has you the uh, options for updates contributions etc change log new change log I think this is for the official uh, Pac-Man ROM, not necessarily for Ace, so yeah, must be that, okay, pretty neat. Themes, you do have the theme support of the 4.3, so you can download Science and Mod themes, and uh, well, T-Mobile theme, uh, yeah, that one, and have those running, Be in, keep in mind that you need MDPI screen settings, so yeah. Home screen is the Tebyshire setting, so yeah, nothing too much about that. Guess your setting, you have all these, pretty neat. I'm really surpri surprised to have these settings in Ace because, well, uh, you guys know that Ace isn't the best phone around, so yeah, pretty neat. Hybrid properties are the PAC settings, that uh, the Panoid Android settings like the PA colors, stock UI, tablet UI. Uh, might not be much of use in a small MDPI screen phone but it is still there so you if you want to have a tablet UI you are welcome to do so other settings include general UI these are the AOKP and Sanitation mode settings you have all that uh, let me show you guys the RAM bar and show you how much the RAM in this ROM is so you can see 107 use 107 free um, not a really accurate one but still this one has a lot of RAM but is still a bit slow but, but that one is expected uh, considering that this is running the latest Android version so yeah I don't think that's a huge problem pretty neat all these settings are available so you have uh, carousel minimal carousel uh, all widgets, volume wave, volume controls, all of these pretty neat functions. I really like that. Navigation bar, navigation ring, app bar, awesome feature. I really like the app bar feature. Uh, it's a space here. You can enable it to have a area at which you can swipe to have a bit of apps which you select. Pretty neat feature. 
uh, ribbons again something from the AOKP so you have an uh, option to have a area devoted to some things okay these are the available ribbons in this pretty neat all the ribbons are available you do have pie settings I have disabled it I don't use pie um, very often you have pie what you see here okay so yeah you have that option too active display is something pretty neat uh, you know the M Moto X feature uh, it does have active display enabled so you have you can have that black screen with the uh, well, the notification in a small white text pretty neat feature I am not sure if how this works in this I will show you guys that in a bit okay now halo halo is this uh, panel Android feature which everyone has loved now so it does have a ninja mode it is uh, halo 2.0 pretty neat gesture anywhere one of my most favorite feature from on any wrong easily one of my favorite feature you have this ability you have to change that because I think I have enabled the uh, app bar so you can have this and have gestures available at any place on the screen I just keep a small square here and use that and any time I want pretty neat feature again notification drawer standard stuff uh, cyanogen mod and the um, cyanogen mod and AOKP so it does have the latest Android does have the notification you can have toggles you can select what all toggles to use etc now battery you have a, a few different types of batteries available let me just in that okay you do have a different types of batteries available there so pretty neat it just changed so yeah pretty neat again uh, clock location you can uh, shift it to center etc weather you can have the weather settings in the status bar and etc you do need an internet connection I haven't enabled that yet so yeah Michelin settings includes breathing SMS breathing missed calls pretty neat it's uh, the notification breathes like it comes on and it comes off so it's pretty neat feature I really use that one Okay, suspend actions something to save your battery life okay if you have uh, the data on at all times you can enable this and when the screen is off the data will be disabled automatically or switch to uh, 2G if you are running 3G normally or disable the GPS when the screen is off it really saves up a lot of data and this one will if you have noticed the starting uh, battery life was at 95 and it has come down to 89 in just I guess 5 minutes uh, 10 minutes so yeah it's not the best battery life ever but yeah it is uh, on 4.3.1 which the raw the phone clearly can't handle with full potential so yeah there is some problems with that I want to say problems glitches I would say okay <laughs> Now, um, gesture navigation is again uh, the area. One area can be devoted to the different gestures like tap, slide, swipe, etc. For uh, navigation features, etc., etc. So you have all of these features. These are normal features. I guess all the ROMs now support this, but this is really awesome to have it in the Galaxy Ace, a ROM, a phone which came out easily two years back and it's still having all these features really awesome now uh, I guess that much is it about the features of this ROM okay now let's go to apps available normal apps it doesn't have the G apps installed as such you have to flash G apps uh, separately so yeah there's something like that uh, be sure to use a SDXT with this because well uh, space can get cramped up really fast okay so the bright side the best thing is the camera works pretty neat pretty awesome I'll show you guys the uh, active display so that is the active display okay pretty neat it shows you this thing with <laughs> yeah that's gone so what you saw there was the active display functioning uh, I don't see it as a huge uh, thing in the A's because well in the S3 it is an AMOLED display so you have the function there. Let me show you guys the boot animation and uh, yeah we'll see. So here is the boot animation with the Pac-Man gobbling balls and <laughs> three guru ROMs. 
<laughs> really neat okay uh, you have game over insert coin whatever you have the uh, guru ram that is cm aokp and uh, pa was there so it just booted up uh, it did take a while it did take about 20 seconds to boot up well, it's a bit too much so yeah i guess that is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please subscribe like and share the video if you really found it useful see you guys later bye